All right, well, Wicked Bites has landed back in Salem, New Hampshire. Live free or die. That's right. Well, you all know Salem to be a crazy place down on Route 28. Well, we're just outside of all that craziness. So once you go buy your tax-free bedroom set down the other end, you head just a few minutes north to the Luna Bistro. Now, this is a tapas and wine bar. So come with me. I'm going to check it out. Yeah, well, you might think it top us as small dishes, but that's not the case here at the Luna Bistro, a beautiful new restaurant that you didn't know about. Well, I guess that's what we're for. You might even think that you're dining in your living room, but I'm going to kick it off outside on the patio with Corey. All right, well, the weather is still nice, so we're outside on the patio, and what a cool patio. Thank you. Your wine bar, mm -hmm. in addition to being a tapas bar, mm -hmm. So tell me about the wine. So we do focus a lot on the wine and we have 75 different wines from, uh, from around the world. Wow. And they're wines that you won't really find anywhere else. And the craft beer. Mm -hmm. So there are no bottles, there are no cans here at Luna Bistro. It's craft beer and you have 29 different beers on tap. Correct. All from local breweries. They change frequently so there's always something new to try. Now we have a beer flight in front of us and uh, you know, don't mind if we do. Yeah, cheers. I think we better head inside and get to work. Let's do it. All right. All right, well, back inside to this beautiful space. Now, don't think Spanish with tapas. In fact, they do so many different things, and we're going to get into all of it. I kind of feel like you're trailblazing the way for the whole tapas scene here in southern New Hampshire, because I don't think too many places are doing it. No, we're actually the first and only one in Salem. Now, when I think of tapas, I think of small dishes. But that's not what's happening here. No, so you are right that tapas means small dishes, and that is part of what we do here. But we're also focused on the experience involving tapas, which relates to sitting down with your friends and your family in a relaxed setting and trying a bunch of different flavors and a bunch of different tastes and just having a nice leisurely meal. This is kind of one of those places you can come with a group of your friends, order four or five different things, everybody gets to try everything. It's great. Exactly. All right, well, what do you say we get into the food because we have quite an array in front of us. Now let's kick it off with one of your appetizers, which is not tapas. This thing is massive. Yes, so this is our charcuterie plate. It's one of our flagship items. It's been on our menu from day one, and it will always be, being a wine bar. So it's got some imported meats on it. It's got a few different types of cheeses, some seasonal jams, and mustard and olives, as well as crostini. So good. And we're going to go right into one of your more popular menu items, mm -hmm. which is this massive monstrosity of a sandwich. It's the short rib grilled cheese, and it's massive, not your average tapas. It's a three cheese blend, and of course, it comes with the soup du jour to dunk. I want to kick it right up again. You do tacos, but they're not just any tacos. They're create your own? Yeah, so we call it a deconstructed taco. Deconstructed taco. Yes. So we have it on a plate here, which again fits in with the tapas theme, where people can sit down together and kind of share and make their own taco. Raviolis. Yes. Butternut squash, and I love them. You have them. One's missing from the plate. Yes, suspiciously. That's our butternut squash ravioli, also a new item on our fall menu. It's, it comes with five normally, and it's in a, a brown sugar sage sauce. All right, well, all good things have to come to an end, but they don't have to end because dessert, you got two really great dessert dishes here. Let's jump right into this. That's also one of our flagship items that's been on our menu from the beginning and we'll probably never be able to take it off. It's liked and enjoyed by kids and adults alike. It's literally a s'mores in a skillet. She had to make two of them because somebody ate the first one. <laughs> Yeah, well, if a skillet of s'mores wasn't enough, well, they have a cocktail. The s'mores old-fashioned, rimmed with chocolate and crushed graham crackers, and of course, topped with a marshmallow. All right, now you do another charcuterie board, but this one is a sweet one. So this is our dessert charcuterie, which is also new on our fall menu in the theme of tapas and sharing, and we just have dessert items on there. Well, Corey, I can't thank you enough for having Wicked Bites. I had such hey. a good time here today. Pleasure. I don't want it to end. I'm gonna head over to the bar and grab a drink. All right. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Yeah, well, 75 different wines, 29 craft beers, delicious food, and a beautiful space inside and out. The Luna Bistro is a place that you need to experience, and you'll thank us later. 